you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy scripture by wisdom ministries march 11th thursday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 11 verses 14 to 23 He was casting out a demon that was mute when the demon had gone out the one who had been mute spoke and the crowds were amazed but some of them said he casts out demon by Beelzebul the ruler of the demons others to test him kept demanding from him a sign from heaven but he knew what they were thinking and said to them every kingdom divided against itself becomes a desert and house falls on house If Satan also is divided against himself how will his kingdom stand for you say that i cast out demons by belzebul now if i cast out demons by belzebul by whom do you were exorcist cast them out therefore they will be your judges but if it is by the finger of god that i cast out the demons then the kingdom of god has come to you when a strong man fully armed guards his castle his property safe but when one stronger than he attacks him and overpowers him he takes away his armor in which he trusted and divides his splendor whoever is not with me is against me and whoever does not gather me with me scatters the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends amazement in the gospel does not always lead to faith people are amazed to see jesus liberate a dumb man from the evil power that prevented him from speaking but rather than seeing here the clear intervention of god's saving power they see in jesus the power of another evil spirit more than that they ask jesus to give some special sign of his authority and identity jesus shows up the contradiction of their position first he has just given a powerful sign but they choose not to see it as such second day a divided household can only collapse why would satan be undoing his own work and if it is through satan that jesus cause or satan by what power do they exorcist among them do it if the answer is by god's power why should they make an exception of jesus and if it is by god's power that Jesus liberates people from evil powers then they should know that God's kingdom God's reign has come among them far from being an uh, accomplice Jesus is the strong man who is driving satan from all his strongholds both readings today urges us to listen carefully to God speaking to us in our lives let's not be blinded by prejudice of any kind which may prevent us from recognizing the signs of or the voice or the hand of god in people and the experiences we have during any ordinary day there must be many times when we write off people and events and so fail to realize that god is saying something important to us through them they may be saints or sinners it does not matter god can and does use any channel to reach us amen may god bless